Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be rebuilding this hydraulic cylinder right here off of a New Holland stack liner. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, this hydraulic cylinder is off this New Holland stack liner 1036. It's actually for the bale loader here. It started leaking really bad on me, so I decided to go ahead and rebuild it. So just go ahead and save yourself some money uh, and rebuild this hydraulic cylinder yourself instead of buying a new one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and get to it. So here is that hydraulic cylinder that we're gonna rebuild today. The seal was pretty bad in this thing. It was leaking really bad on me. So that's why we are rebuilding it today. First thing we need to do, there is a Allen screw here, set screw. Let's go ahead and take that guy out of there. You can take it all the way out if you want to. Just set it to the side. All right, after you get that set screw out here on the side, we're gonna have to beat this down, this ring, inside ring. Just take your hammer and a punch and just knock it down. Just like so. All right, so you can see how I knock that down, we can get to the C-clip, there's like a C-clip uh, snap ring deal in here that we're gonna have to get out before we can pull this shaft out of the cylinder. All right guys, this might be a little hard to see, this little C-clip in there. Try to get it so you can see. All I'm gonna try to do is get a screwdriver behind it. Tap it with a little hammer here. Use my little pick here, see if I can't get behind it. There we go. Just like so. See, it's just kind of a little snap ring C-clip deal. So what we need to do is tap this shaft forward while holding this cylinder here. What you can use is a big wrench. Put behind this nut that's welded on there. Just kind of tap it. Okay, you can see it there, it's about out. So we'll see if we can't just, it's kind of hard to do. Let me just. Just like that. Basically any way you can do that. If you had a bad vice set up here, it'd been a lot easier to do that. So keep that in mind. Now we should be able to pull the rest of this out of here. Cool. Twist it a little bit. As you're pulling, just like so. All right, we got it apart. Now we have to bust this nut off here to get to these seals. We'll have to pull this, I guess you call it the gland off of here so we can get to those seals in there. That's what's leaking on us. Hey guys, if you're getting any value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and take this nut off with the impact. That's all there is to that. Then we can slide this piston off. Like so. We can pull this gland off here. We're going to replace that seal. I think we got a seal there and just one o-ring here really not much to these cylinders okay we'll go ahead and remove this seal here on top all you usually need is a pick or a screwdriver get behind it just kind of pry it up Just like so. See how oh, there's nothing left to that one. And then on the back side there's an O-ring. So really literally nothing to that. I'm gonna go get this thing cleaned up in my parts washer real quick. Then we can reinstall the new seals. All right, we got it all cleaned up. Now we can start putting it back together. I got this seal kit from Sodbusters. 
Uh, they got all kinds of parts for these stackers, so I'll go ahead and link that down in the description below to their website. Uh, you can get all kinds of parts from them, so that's where I've been getting most of my parts. I'll we'll open this up. Got all the seals here we're going to need. These here go to the piston over there. Outer seal here we can go ahead and throw in. Just when you're doing that, you just make sure when you're taking it apart, just kind of see where the seals go and whatnot. And just kind of put them back together like that. It's the easiest. Usually just try to find a socket the right size of that seal and we just tap it on in. Just tap it on down. You can see there, looks pretty good. This other ring goes on the back side of here. I usually just kind of take some hydraulic oil, lube these O-rings up, lube them up good, that way they slide over everything good and don't get tore up, just like so. Same with this seal, get it all nice and lubed up here. This one's ready to go back on the shaft. Yeah, fits nice and tight now. For some reason I had an extra O-ring in this uh, packet. From looking at it, I think this cylinder has been rebuilt before. Or maybe somebody did not put this one back in it. Uh, I don't have any diagram to go off of. So um, from kind of looking at this piston here, uh, it looks like there what used to be an O-ring on the back side of that. So, just gonna go ahead and throw that on here. And it's perfect size to go around that shaft, so I'm about positive that's where it goes. I think it just keeps this, these two from touching each other. So just, like I said, pay attention when you're pulling your old one apart. Let's go ahead and take these seals out of the pistons. These are important ones, since this is a, single actin cylinder these are the one that's actually gonna keep it from leaking so you just got that o-ring in the middle a couple of these flat seals take your pick just get behind them and pull them on out of there and as you can tell these have a flat side one's flat and the other is kind of got a little bevel on it you'll see when you get yours and those are kind of pointed inward yeah both of them are pointed toward the center there all right that's all there is to that i'll go get this thing cleaned up and we'll put our new seals back on all right we got her all cleaned up ready to install the new seals like I said before, just get you some hydraulic fluid and coat those seals really good here. Keep them from tearing. Like I said before, the flat spot on these seals, they go toward the outside. So just like so. Really easy to put these seals on, so. Like I said before, save yourself some money and do, go ahead and do this yourself. I think the seal kit was only like $10. So. All right, that is all there is to that. Like I said, make sure you got plenty of hydraulic fluid on these seals. That way it slides into the cylinder easy and doesn't tear anything. Put her back on like so. Get your nut. All right, that's all there is to the seals. All right, we'll go ahead and shove this down in here. Like I said before, just make sure you have it nice and lubed up, all the seals here. You're usually pretty tight when you put your new seals on, so just kind of wiggle it around. Sometimes you have to tap it a little bit. Just like so. Just make sure all your seals are good to go down there. None of them squeezed out, which they haven't. Tap it again. There it goes. Just like 
like so. Slide this down there. It'll be just as tight with that new seal, usually. <clears throat> Not too bad. Just like so. And we're gonna have to punch this down in there so we can get that C-clip in there. Take your punch. Dab her down a little bit. All right, now we got it down in there, we can get this C-clip back in there. There's a little groove here in this cylinder, which you'll see uh, that this just snaps into. So the best way I've found to do this is find you some big channel locks. Got it started there. Take a little punch here. There's this Allen wrench here. We're down there, we need to pop it up here on the end. There she is. Like I said, just keep messing with it until you get it. It's kind of a tricky thing to do without the right tool. All we got left to do is pop this back out so we can get that set screw down in there. You can kind of see it's see how it's sunk down in there. We had to do that to get that C-clip in there. All you gotta do is take your wrench again and you know, we just tap her on out. are as you can see the gland here now even with this outside of the cylinder and that's where it needs to be and all we got to do is put our set screw in crank her down all right guys so that's all there is to it on rebuilding one of those cylinders and most all those cylinders are the same on these stack liners so if it's not this cylinder you're working on it should be pretty similar to the other cylinders on the machine so let's go ahead and throw this thing on a stacker and we'll test it out all right guys we got the cylinder back on as you can see here let's go ahead and try it out As you seen there, I forgot to tighten them. this hydraulic line up. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll try it again. So there we have it. Everything looking good. Like I said before, this thing was just gushing out of here. So we, no leaks on it. There's always gonna be a little bit of oil that lubricates this shaft, so nothing to worry about. So another job done. All right, guys, uh, if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And that's gonna be it for today's video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.